to twists and turns in the first half. Then it comes to this, fourth quarter, Vikes up 20 to 15. And for the entire day, Dan, they couldn't get Justin Jefferson stopped. I believe this is the one time that Sauce Gardner was not lined up on the off defense's right side. Or excuse me, the offense's right side that creates a one-on-one -on -one for Jefferson. Touchdown. Vikes up 27-15. Then it's Zonovan Knight doing the running for the Jets. And he's become a good little player for them. They run the ball efficiently more often than not in the afternoon. You see the perimeter speed and then the race down the sideline. That sets up this. The Jets were just miserable yes. in the red zone yesterday. Mike White ultimately, after a lengthy review, is found to have scored a touchdown yeah, here. Yeah, finally, because there were so many field goals for this offense, but fourth down, fourth and goal, you go quarterback sneak. I love the push by everybody on the offense. 27-22, Jets get another chance. You talk about the red zone struggles. Fourth and ten. This is the play in which I fell in love with Mike White. Yeah, it's a great job. He drifts in the pocket <laughs> a little bit. Fourth and ten, throw an absolute pearl to Corey Davis on that in route. After the quarterback had gotten blasted on the play before, so that sets up this. Another fourth and goal. White, Braxton Berrios. You have to uh, catch it. Catch it, catch it. I mean, I think the defender might get a little bit of a piece on there, but Braxton Berrios has become such a reliable target. Make that catch. Jets get one more chance. Second and four at the Vikings Great 37. Eyes. No timeouts. Garrett Wilson is so good. Great eyes. Get the defender to fall down on that flat route to the, the corner route behind him. Fourth and ten. Try to be overly aggressive here. Got to get the ball. Credit Minnesota to get that pick. So the Vikings hang on and win what was, depending on, on how you viewed it, an extremely exciting game and 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 yet frustrating as can be and so Rex I will turn to you as one who has a lot of the same allegiances that I do how should a Jet fan feel coming out of that game yesterday in which they were getting blown out early they looked uncharacteristically awful and fought all the way back and almost won the game yeah two things I mean disappointed for sure but I'm excited about this team and to me I'm happy with this look you outplayed a team that was nine and two and how bad did they outplay them by 200 yards. Yeah. They had 200 more yards than your, your opponent, a 9-2 mm. and two football team. So I am super encouraged. The other thing is this team got down. They got down quite a bit in the first half, and they came storming back. So there's no quit in this team like, like we saw the Colts do. Mm -hmm. All right, This is the exact opposite of that. This team's competing their tails off. They're competing like a playoff football team. And so I'm super encouraged. But the, at the same time, so disappointed in the outcome. First off, your wide receiver is an absolute superstar. Freak. Garrett Wilson, Garrett Wilson is a freak, freak. show. Yeah. So that, that's the first thing. But I feel like this is a missed opportunity. I, I think still when I look at the Minnesota Vikings, I don't see them as one of the elite. I, I can't thought coming into this weekend, the Jets were the better football team. And when you're the better football team and you're trying to change an entire organization, and Rex knows this because he did this with the New York Jets, you got to go win this game. You got to go show that you can compete against team that, that people who don't understand football don't expect you yeah. to. Mike White made enough plays to get this team in position to win. You have to win this game. These are the games that put you in better playoff position. These are the games that give you opportunities to continue to challenge the Buffalo Bills for the AFC East. And so, so to me, whether, whether you're encouraged or not, you have to be better and finish. I would agree that it's a missed opportunity, but only if Mike White doesn't learn from it. You know, like, while he gave him enough to potentially win the game, he also played poorly enough early on yes. to dig themselves that big hole. You know, started slow, mechanically was poor. I think he's got to realize two things. The little mistakes become big mistakes against good football teams. And then, guys, he's got to be in these moments. Like, it's first and ten, need a touchdown, 34 seconds. He's never been in this, where that defender just falls off. First and ten, you can kick that ball out to the flat. You're going to get at worst five or six yards and out of bounds. Then you're in second and five. Instead, the throw away on first and second down becomes third Run and it. ten. This is the moment for me where you got to turn from this because break the pocket at one. Run! Run! You get six or seven yards and out of bounds to get to fourth and three. You might get a first down, another throw away. Dan, but you, Dan, but you think he's throwing that away? I feel like he could have made that throw, though. I, I agree, but like yeah, I, yeah, I, I think yeah. that you sit there in that moment and you watch that tape because this becomes fourth and Hail Mary, essentially. Yeah. You watch that tape and you go, man, I've never been in that moment where, like, you try to calm yourself down, and what's the play on that? That's what Joe Burrow's great at. Like, can he learn from that moment to go, oh, I'm just going to go get six or seven yards and get out of bounds because, my, hey, Mike, look at, look at my play call. On fourth and three, I got eight options. On right. fourth and ten, I got two. Right. You know, I just think he's got to learn from that. A very quick final word. Just from the, Is there any question he's their quarterback the rest of the season? No, 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 because if he plays uh, the rest of their games the way he, plays, he played in the, the second, second half, half 
They could be anybody in the AFC. Yeah. All right. We'll leave that there for the moment because we get to have a 50-50 shot to get there and a 31% chance to win the Super Bowl. That is according Greeny. to our kid. As, an, our index. as another famous Mr. Clark once said, yes. you smoke crack, don't you? <laughs> then jump. <laughs> don't you, do that. You, <laughs> you smoke that. crack, don't you? Then you jump. Because I don't oh. care what <laughs> nobody says. If you've watched these teams play, Throughout the year, the, come on, uh, Greeny. I know you've been. Okay. You, you know, I've got the flu. Uh, I know you just got back. <laughs> but go ahead, talk. <laughs> yeah, when you watch the Philadelphia Eagles play throughout this season, what was the one thing we said? This is the team that has trouble stopping the run. Yeah, they play yeah. one of the best run teams in the entire NFL yesterday, and they pound them, exactly. pound them, pound them. And then offensively, you see the growth in the passing game where yesterday wasn't about RPO, it wasn't about zone read. It was knowing I now have a guy that can beat your guy. Right. And if you're worried about him, I have another guy yes. that can beat your guy in Devontae Smith. worried about him? I have another one! <laughs> and so when you look at this team, I just think the Philadelphia Eagles are stacked on both sides of the football. The Dallas Cowboys are coming. The Dallas Cowboys are continuing to ascend but when you look at Jalen Hurts at playing at an MVP level, what this defense can do when they're completely tied in and then knowing the skilled players on the outside, it's still hard for me to say that anyone in the NFC has a better track to the Super Bowl. Yeah, no, 100 percent. And what did Bill Parce uh, Parcells always say? You are, you know, you are what, what, your, record what is. your record is. Well, one team's got 11 wins. Yeah. The other one's got nine. And I'm sorry. I think the Eagles are the most complete football team. And when you see that pass rush, the six sacks right there, mm -hmm. that, what, what did they do? They go out and they, they get a pass rusher, right, Robert Quinn. Yep. They go out and they get, well, you can't stop the run. Oh, really? Yeah, have a Hassan Reddick already. Tackles yep. in there. And, and by the way, the, the rookie comes back in there, uh, Davis. I, this team is so complete right now, they can beat you with their defense by forcing turnovers, getting sacks. And, and smothering the run. They can beat you running the football. By the way, they uh, weren't they the number one yeah. rushing team in the league last year? Yeah. yeah. You, got a, you got a quarterback that runs like a tailback. And by the way, when he throws the ball down the field, he's at 58% completions of 25 plus yards throwing. Give me a break. That stat comes from Hibble. Thank you. Why do you, you look perplexed? Did everybody close. watch the games yesterday? I, yeah. The Cowboys are lucky the Colts imploded. Oh, wait. The oh. Cowboys looked. I thought she was going on their side. No. Ooh. Dude, the Cow I went to bed when it was 21-19 when Matt Ryan threw that touchdown pass, and I was like, ooh, I might wake up to it. Gibbs Dude, the, Cow the Colts imploded. Who was imp you guys were impressed by the Cowboys yesterday? Yes. For what? Hey, for they started, they, hanging. They started, they started playing D, bro. On an NFL team. Yeah, and yeah. by the way, that 50, NFL 50 team points. had Super Bowl aspirations to start. I can't help that in they August? quit, that they let go of the hold road. On, I can't on. help that. Hold on. But yeah, no, in no, August. No, no, no. no. You've been around, you've been around did, him this too guy, long. Wait, did the guy <laughs> in rushing He likes it, look. Did the guy in the league in rushing last year? It was 21 19. They threw another shallow cross to CD Lamb. The Colts defense can't tackle. All of a sudden, there's a tight Tight end screen, ball no, I get pops it. out, that cold defense touchdown. Was ranked All of a sudden, in the it's a football league. Oh, come going on, man! Going into that game, by it, the way. Oh, what so what were me, you impressed with offensively I, for them yesterday? What were you impressed with? Hanging 54 points on somebody. CD Lamb broke two tackles on shallow crosses. How about that was Gallup, that, 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 that's, that's part of football, though, Dan. Dan, it's part of football. Maybe they should. Maybe it's part of football to rush the pass. Okay, so let me ask you the question this way, because I I'm. You already said something to this effect to me earlier today. The, the, the 49ers have lost their quarterback. The, everyone in the NFC, to use a South, to use your terminology, is average as fudge. At this point, <laughs> what must the Cowboys accomplish this year? If the Cowboys don't get to the NFC title game, it's their greatest disappointment in 25 years. Yeah, Easily. I agree with that. Yeah. They got to go through one healthy team. That's good. That's the Eagles. I don't think they're good enough to beat the Eagles, but they got to go through one team. San Francisco, I still think, is very good, but they're on their third-string quarterback. That's a reality. Yeah. I still think they're very good. But then you got to go through a team with their third. Guys, they were up by two against the Colts. Right, but think about this, though, Dan. So Dan I, 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 I do believe the Eagles are the best team, but think about this. They have to go through one healthy team, and you mentioned it. Sometimes they can be average, and then we, we, when we see the Dallas Cowboys play like they played against the Minnesota Vikings, they can look.